Breaking news, folks. Hold on to your abayas and your hijabs, because Saudi Arabia has just taken a bold leap from funding Wahhabism to showing off their women on the world stage of Miss Universe. Can you believe it? I can't, but it's happening. Meet Rumi Al Qahtani, Saudi Arabia's beacon of beauty, who is about to show the world that Saudi Arabia is progressing. Yes folks, forget about the years of human rights abuses, fatwas against Bashar al-Assad and Gaddafi in order to support American wars abroad. Saudi Arabia has a new game now, it's finally embracing its inner diva by sending Rumi, a content creator and model to represent the kingdom in Miss Universe. Because nothing says women empowerment like strutting in a swimsuit for the perving male eyes, right? Ah, uh, the sweet smell of progress. First they let women drive and now they're letting them compete in beauty pageant. What next Saudi Arabia? Maybe evoke a cover shoot featuring the clown prince himself in a designer robe perhaps. But hey, who am I to judge? Saudi Arabia's debut at Miss Universe is just another step in their quest to appease the western world because what better way to show your commitment to reform than parading women around in miniskirts and tiaras. I wonder where our esteemed Wahhabi Salafi scholars are when we need their wisdom in times like these. You know the luminaries like Asim Al Hakim, Sheikh Bin Baz, Bilal Phillips and the rest of the holier than thou who never miss an opportunity to weigh in on the sins of others but seem to have suddenly misplaced their voices. Because you see folks, it's easy to spout off fatwas about personal morality. When it comes to geopolitics and the shifting sands of power, suddenly they're all silent as a mosque at midnight. It's time to reflect reality. Call a spade a spade. The Wahhabism that Saudi Arabia spread after 1979 was just a pawn in the game of global dominance, played by Saudi Arabia and its American buddies back in the good old days of the unipolar world. But now, with big players like Russia, China and Iran shaking up the scene, it seems the kingdom's grip on its so-called moral authority is slipping faster than sand through an hourglass. Grab your prayer beads because we're diving into the ever-changing saga of Saudi Arabia and its roller coaster relationship with Islam. Remember when the Saudis were hailed as the land of Tawheed, the epitome of Islamic purity? Yes indeed my friends, gone are the days when Saudi petrodollar flowed like Zamzam water into funding mosques and madrasas around the globe, spreading Wahhabism faster than you can say fatwa. Suddenly, the Saudis are now promoting their version of moderate Islam with concerts and beauty pageants. Isn't it time people distance themselves from the corrupt Saudi scholarship? Stay tuned, my dear friends, because the saga of Saudi Arabia and its Islamic makeover is far from over. Thanks for listening to the Independent Islamic Republic. Assalamualaikum. Have a wonderful night. Over and out.